guys, welcome back to my channel. We are in a new scenery today. We're in my bathroom because I figured I would come on and show you my morning skincare routine. I don't know if anyone's interested in this, but I figure let's try to do something a smidge different here on my channel and show you guys something else, a different part of my life, my skincare routine. I love makeup, but I also love skincare. So I figure I would come on and show you that. Before we get started, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, please go ahead and give it a big thumbs up. It really does help my channel out. And other than that, if you're excited and you wanna see my morning skincare routine, then let's go ahead and get started. I'm really hoping the lighting's okay, the sound is okay, everything in this video is okay. I thought about doing my hair like in a cuter little updo and then I was like, you know what, this is real life. This is how I actually look in the morning time when I'm getting ready. Is it 11.30 almost? Yes. But I've had a really productive morning. I finished editing a video, got it uploaded, had breakfast, drank my coffee, snuggled with my cats, tried on my old Navy order. So I feel good. I've had a pretty productive morning. Yes, I'm still in my PJs. That's going to change after this because I really am getting ready for my day today. I have a pretty busy rest of the day. I'm going to film another video after filming this one, probably get some editing done. I've got some laundry to do. And then tonight I'm going out to dinner with my parents, which I'm really excited. Mike is going on a camping trip this weekend with some friends. So I call my dad last night and I was like hey I don't want to eat alone this Friday night can um I crash your mom's date night because they go out to eat every single solitaire Friday and uh he was like yeah of course so I'm excited for that so I really am like getting ready for my day after this I'm gonna go put my makeup on change all of that so the first thing I start off with is washing my face currently in the morning time I have been using the first aid beauty pure skin face cleanser this is just like a really nice gentle cleanser it takes off my like nighttime skincare routine but doesn't strip my skin or make it dry at all which is like perfect and exactly what i needed in the morning time they sent me a pr kit a couple of weeks ago and it had these cute little feeling fab backwards feeling fab um like wrist things to help the water not drain down your arms i'm not gonna lie i usually don't use these i never have used them before but i'm gonna be like up here and i feel like the water is gonna be dripping down so i am gonna use these little cuties today like are you serious it's adorable i'm gonna slip these glasses off they are from warby parker if you are curious i got them a couple months ago and i've been really really enjoying them so i got my face wet we're going to get a little bit of this out onto my hand not very much i just like to use a little bit and you guys know how to wash your face you've been here before you've done this yourself scrub 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 rinse 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 you always want to pat your face dry. Sorry, did you hear that? You always want to pat your face dry just because it's a little bit more gentle. Am I a little bit too aggressive with some of my skincare products and routines? Yeah, probably, but I really do try to like pat my face dry so it's not too intense on my skin. I always have to blow my nose after I wash my face. I don't know what it is, morning and night, something about like bending over the sink, rinsing it off and washing it always makes my dang nose run. Also a question for you guys, do you wash your hands after you blow your nose? Because some people don't, and I'm a germaphobe and I always do, and it really grosses me out when people don't wash their hands after they uh, blow their nose. I'm not judging you if you do, I, that's a lie, I am. But, like, do you? Is it just me? I, I feel like it's not just me. <laughs> All right, we're gonna slip these little cute things. It really did catch the water. That is adorable. I need to start using these more often. All right, next up in my routine, I pull my contacts in. I'm not going to subject you watching me open my eye and sticking something in my eyeball because I feel like some people would find that satisfying and some people would find that absolutely disgusting. So I'm going to go ahead and put them in. I use my Bosch & Loam BioTrue multi-purpose solution in case you're curious about what contact solution I use. I have very dry, very sensitive eyes that get irritated super easy and I feel like this has been the best contact solution I have found that helps with it. My eyes are still super dry and super uh, sensitive and irritated, but I feel like this is the best. So I'm gonna go put these in, I'll be right back. All right, next up I go in with a toner. I usually have two toners open, which sounds excessive, but I usually have two different types of toners and I have kind of like two different types of morning routine. One is like a really hydrating, moisturizing, calming sort of routine. And one is more of a little bit of an exfoliating routine. It just kind of depends on what I've done the night before. Last night I did go ahead and use a retinol, so I'm not going to use my like exfoliating toner today but for that i would use my good molecules glycolic exfoliating toner i really really like this stuff it's very gentle it is exfoliating and it is glycolic acid which 
can be kind of stripping and drying on your skin if you're not careful, but this is really, really gentle. I do love this. I am like down to here on it. I've used more than half of it, but I'm not going to go in with this today. Today, I'm gonna to use the Dermalogica Multi-Active Toner. This is just supposed to be like really hydrating. It's light on the skin, hydrates, refreshes, moisture binding, you know, all the good things that you want. I do not spray this directly on my face. I usually spray three sprays on my hand and then I just pat it into my skin. I really do feel like this does help like hydrate and tone and just gives my face like a good canvas for the rest of my skincare routine and it's not drying at all and it sinks like right into the skin. I am not sponsored by any of these products or companies I'm going to be using this morning. I wish, <laughs> but today I'm not. But I do want to let you know like what products I received in PR and what I purchased with my own money. This, I can't fully remember. I'm pretty sure I got it in PR through Ipsy. And then both of these toners were sent to me in PR through the brands. Next up, I go into an eye cream and I feel like it's a little bit weird to go into an eye cream at this point. I feel like a lot of people use eye cream as the very last step. But if I do that, then all the other stuff I put on my face, like throughout my skincare routine, I feel like I'm then rubbing up into my eyes. And again, I have really sensitive eyes that now have contacts in them. So I do it at this step. And for that, I'm gonna use the Murad Renewing Eye Cream. This was sent to me in Ipsy. I don't love this eye cream. And honestly, it's taking forever to finish up. But I just get a little bit on my ring finger, rub it together. It always has like a little crusty piece from like using it the day before that I have to like get out and like really mush together. And I don't know, I just don't think this is anything special. I'm just really trying to use it up. It's not terrible. It's like a hydrating sort of eye cream and it doesn't like sting my eyes or irritate them in any way, which is nice. But I just don't like know what it's really doing. The one eye cream off the top of my head that I've really fallen in love with is the Good Molecules Yerba Mate eye cream. I just thought that was so moisturizing and lovely. Um, so yeah, this one is like not like a recommendation to you guys. It's just the one that I'm using right now and trying to use up because man, it's taking forever. <laughs> Next up, I go into some sort of serum. Again, kind of like the toners. I have two open right now and two different types of toners. The first one is the La Roche-Posay Vitamin C Serum. I'm actually really, really enjoying this. Vitamin C in the past has broken me out. I've tried the pharmacy one. I forget what it's called off the top of my head, but it really broke me out. And I've heard that about vitamin C that it can break some people out. I haven't noticed it with this as you're looking at my broken out face, but that's just like my normal face it's always broken out unfortunately i've been using this for a while now and my acne has not increased or decreased using this it's a little bit thicker and goopy of a consistency if you can tell but honestly it sinks right into the skin i actually am really really enjoying this i'm not going to go in with this today because again i did retinol last night and i i'm not a skincare expert i'm i don't I know like some ingredients that you can and can't use together, but I know retinol is a very strong ingredient. I went in with a little bit more of a um, like softer and gentler one, more gentle one, but still I don't want to use like vitamin C and glycolic acid the day after I use a retinol. So instead I'm going to use the Coco Kind Ceramide Barrier Serum. I have been loving this. I'm not entirely sure like what it's doing for my skin, but it says it's a nourishing daily serum for skin barrier support. If you do not know what your skin barrier is, again, not an expert, it's like the barrier of your skin that can get really messed up if you are going in with too many like exfoliating ingredients or anything too harsh. It can make your skin dry, irritated, flaky, red, and you don't want to mess up your skin at barriers. So I have been loving this for those mornings that I do want to do a little bit more of a calming, hydrating sort of skincare routine like this morning. Both of those were sent to me in PR. This is a very PR heavy morning routine. I swear not everything I use is PR, so sorry about that. But I'm just gonna get a little bit on my hand. If you can see, it's a pretty milky consistency. And again, we're just going to rub this in. I'm very picky with what products I use in the morning because I do have dry skin, but by the end of the day, it gets oily. So I'm, I try to be really careful about what I use. That I'm not using products that are going to make me oily throughout the day, but still like hydrate and help my skin in the morning. And I feel like all of these products are really, really good about that. I rub it in until it gets a little bit tacky and then I just kind of like press it in. Yeah. Repair that moisture barrier. Make it perfect. I also always rinse my hands after every single step. Not with soap. I try not to be like wasteful and use a crap ton of soap, but um, I just can't stand the feeling of anything on my hands. Anyone else like that? Just me? I don't know. Then I'll go into a moisturizer. My morning skincare routine is pretty basic. The toner, eye cream, serum, moisturizer, and then sunscreen. I do a little bit of extra steps in my nighttime skincare routine, which I plan on filming in a couple of days and have that up a couple of days after this video. Um, let me know if you'd wanna see that, even though I'm like planning on 
doing it anyways, but it would encourage me and <laughs> get even more excited to film it if you guys do want to see it. So like I said, the moisturizers really do tend to vary throughout like whatever I'm using. I'm not like really dead set on one moisturizer that I found that I'm like a holy grail status. I love it with my whole heart. So for right now I'm using the Peach Slices Snail Rescue All-in-One Oil-Free Moisturizer. This is supposed to have a 95% snail mucin concentrate, which sounds disgusting, but I'm telling you there's something about snail mucin that I just really enjoy. This says it's a fast track to hydrated blemish-free skin and an even glow with snail mucin. This weightless moisturizer helps quench thirsty skin, zap zits, and minimize shine. I don't think that this really does anything for my zits. Again, I've got them everywhere. I don't, I don't, I don't know how to get rid of them, unfortunately, or I would. Um, so I haven't really noticed this helping with zits at all, but it's a really nice gel-like consistency. I try to go for gel moisturizers, even though, again, I am a little bit more dry. I like gel moisturizers in the morning and then the thicker sort of like heavier moisturizers in the afternoon I just or in the evening. I just don't think that thicker ones really go well under makeup in my opinion. And this one is a really thin consistency. It is a jelly sort of consistency. So it just sinks right into your skin. And I do feel like it's hydrating on my skin. It definitely gives me enough hydration for the morning time, but again, doesn't really make my skin oily or greasy throughout the day, which is really, really nice. It says it minimizes shine. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know if it like actually minimizes shine. Maybe if I use this on its own and didn't put any makeup on top, I would notice that. But I always go in with the SPF afterwards and then makeup. So I don't really know if it actually minimizes shine, but it sinks right in. It gets a little bit tacky and just feels just like really nice on the skin. I've been really, really enjoying this. And last but not least, I slather my skin in some SPF, you guys. If you are still not using SPF on the daily, please, 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 please start wearing SPF every single day. When I first started my like makeup Instagram account like four years ago, and I started researching a little bit more about skincare, I kept hearing people say, use sunscreen, use sunscreen. The sunscreen in your makeup is not enough. The sunscreen really even in your like daily moisturizer is not enough. I mean, maybe some of them are, but I feel like most of them are SPF 15. And I personally like SPF 50. I'll do 40 if I have to. I really try to stay away from 30 and below, but that's just me personally. I'm very, very fair. But when I was first researching skincare, like I was saying, and everyone was saying use an SPF in the morning, I, in my mind, imagined the SPF that I used as a child at the beach or the pool that's thick and heavy and greasy and oily and just does not sink into your skin and smells kind of funny like SPF. And I was like, why would I do that to myself? Why would I wear that every single day? No, you have to find a good facial SPF that is made for your face, made to go under makeup, made to sink into your skin. Keep in mind, I have drier skin. So the sunscreens that I'm going to use here slash recommend for you today, probably are not the best for oily skin. And these are also not the only ones that I enjoy, but I've got two in rotation right now that I'm trying to finish up. The first one is the CauseRx Aloe Soothing Sun Cream. This is SPF 50. I love this. I love this so stinking much. This is my second tube and you guys can't see, but it is almost gone. Like I have to bang it against my hand and like squeeze it out as hard as I can to get anything out to be able to use it. Like that's how close it is to being done and I'm gonna repurchase it. It's so stinking good. This one I bought with my own money, both of them. My third one I'm gonna buy with my own money. I, I love this so much. This one was sent to me in PR. This is a super goop, every single face watery lotion SPF 50. I'm enjoying this. This is a little bit more on the dewy side. This one's a little bit thicker of a consistency and it sinks into your skin and doesn't really change the finish. It's just kind of like a moisturizer, like another moisturizer on top of your other moisturizer. I know that sounds excessive. This one really is like a cream, like it says. This one has a little bit more lotiony, watery of a consistency, like it says, watery lotion. That's a perfect description for it. And this one is dewy. It is going to get you shining and dewy. I haven't really noticed that it makes me more oily throughout the day. Keep that in mind in case you have been curious about this, that it will be very shiny and dewy on your skin. I'll go ahead, I'll go ahead and use this one in my no, I don't know which one to use. <laughs> I want to show you both of them, but I don't want to like, they're completely different finishes. So I don't want to um, do that. Let me show them on my hand maybe. So like I said, this is the consistency of the aloe one. It's a little bit thicker and it is like a lotiony cream sort of consistency. It has like a herbaly scent, nothing like too, too strong and it doesn't linger. This one is like very watery, like it says. And when you rub this one in, I mean, it, it, it sinks into your skin, it rubs in fine. It doesn't like sit on top or anything, but it just is more dewy, like I said. And this one has like a sunscreen sort of smell. 
I don't hate it. It doesn't linger. But here's the finishes, if you can see on my hand. Like, yes, this one's going to be a little bit glowy, but compared to the um, super goop one, this one is like dewy, dew central. There's the difference in finish for you. I think I am going to go in with this one today just because... I don't know, I just feel like it. And I'm really trying to use this up, although I'm gonna rebuy it. The Essence Sun Milk is another really amazing SPF. That's SPF 50. That one's a little bit more hydrating. Also the Essence Soft Finish. That one's a little bit more powdery of a finish. So if you have more oily skin, I think that you would really enjoy that one. We also have the Paula's Choice Youth Extending Daily Hydrating Fluid. This is SPF 50 as well. This one is another really watery one like the Super Goop, but it's not as dewy on the skin. It sinks in a little bit more. I've used one whole one up of this and I rebought it in the Sephora sale. That's how much I love it. And then also we have the Super Goop Glow Sunscreen. I'm enjoying this. I haven't fully got my thoughts on it quite yet and it is only SPF 40, but if you have dry skin and you're just looking for a little bit of a glow to put under your makeup, this is a good option as well. I have to literally pound this against my hand to get any out. This turned into a sunscreen um, recommendations video instead of a morning skincare routine, but I'm okay with that. So I get quite a bit. I get quite a bit of sunscreen and like it's a lot and you have to spend quite a bit of time rubbing it in, but I personally don't mind it because I feel like I'm like really, really protecting my skin. I definitely take it down my neck onto my chest if I have enough, even though I usually wear higher shirts that cover it up anyways. I'll take it back on my ears. I feel like this one doesn't take as long to sink into your skin as a couple of the other ones I mentioned. But I'm telling you, I just love this sunscreen. It's like I said, it's my second one. I'm going to rebuy a third. I just think it's so nice on the skin. And those you guys, that was my morning skincare routine. All the steps that I do every single morning. Like I said, keep in mind the products do change every once in a while. I really don't have a ton of like holy grail skincare products like I do makeup. Um, but also I really, really love testing new skincare. So it's like fun to try new things for me. So I don't like to use the same thing over and over. I hope this video was fun for you to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. I don't know if anyone's gonna watch it but here it is for you in case you were ever curious I don't really talk about skincare too too often on my channel um, and again I'm not an expert I don't know a ton about it but this is just my routine my products that I use on my face that seem to be working out for me I'm not gonna do my hair change do my makeup film another video and then like I said have dinner with my parents later and I'm really really excited about that let me know down below do you use any of these skincare products or do you have any recommendations? When I was explaining my sunscreen preferences or anything like that, do you have any products that you recommend me trying? Like I said, I love trying new skincare products. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet. And I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.